Hi everyone, it's Kathy. Thank you so much for joining me and Happy New Year. Today I'll be sharing how to create a vertical center step card and I'll be using the Cutie Alphabet die set, the Alpha Mini stamp set, the Simple Strips die set, the Sweet Tiles dessert stamp set, but what I wanted to point out is that the other tile stamp sets available will also work perfectly for this particular card. This set is the Into the Woods Animal Tiles stamp set, and then this one is the Across the Pond Animal Tiles stamp set. And because they're all sized basically the same, any of these stamp sets would work really well with this particular card. Anyway, moving right along, I started out by stamping the s'more three times onto a piece of Cougar Super Smooth cardstock. I started out with some very simple coloring of the little graham cracker with E35, and I started on the outer edges with the E35. Then I blended that out with E33 and finished up with E31. For the chocolate, I started out with E29 and added that right underneath the top graham cracker and around the outer edges. Then I did kind of little, tiny little flick marks on the drips, but I made sure to leave some white space around the, the E29 for the drips. I blended that out with E25 and I finished up with E23. And once I finished up with the E23, I thought that my chocolate needed to be a little bit darker. So I came back in with the E29 and added a little bit more on the outer edges and on the drips. And then I decided to come in with E27 to fill in the rest of it, just so that I would have a nice dark chocolate. And then I moved on to coloring in the marshmallow. I started out with E42 and around, went around the outer edges and around the drips of the chocolate. I blended that out with E41 and colored in most of the marshmallow. I did leave some white space right in the center. And then I blended all of that together with E40. Next, it was time to start working on my card base. I started out with a piece of cardstock that measures four and quarter by 11 inches. I placed that in my paper trimmer and I lined up the right edge of the cardstock with the one inch mark on the base of the paper trimmer. I moved the blade down to the one inch mark on the ruler and then I cut from the one inch mark down to the six and a half inch mark. Next, I just flipped the cardstock over and again lined up the right edge of the cardstock with the one inch mark on the base of the paper trimmer. Moved the blade down to the one inch mark on the ruler and cut again from the one inch mark down to the six and a half inch mark. Next we got to do a little bit of scoring so I grabbed my scoreboard and with the 11 inch side at the top of the scoreboard I lined it up I scored at the one inch mark all the way down the cardstock. The next score lines, you're going to start at the two inch mark and you're only going to score up until the cut line. So I did that up at the top and then for the bottom, I used my ruler to make sure that I got that score line lined up properly with the two inch mark. The next score line, you're going to score it at five and a half inches, but you're only going to score it in between the cut lines. And then the final scoring that you'll do is at the six and a half inch mark. And again, you only want to go up to the cut line. You don't want to go all the way down the cardstock. For the folds, you're going to take that bottom piece at the where you scored at the one inch mark, and that's going to be a mountain fold. At the two inch mark, you're going to pinch those so it's a valley fold. At the five and a half inch score line, you're going to do another mountain fold. And then at the six and a half, you're also going to do a mountain fold. So it folds up and it looks like this. You might want to use a bone folder so you have some nice crisp creases. I just kept pressing it down with my hands and that seemed to work out okay too. So that's what it looks like standing up and then a quick side view for you. Now for the patterned paper, I used a piece of six by six from the heart to heart patterned paper pack. And the way I'm cutting this is going to be a little bit weird because I was tired and was just trying to figure out the easiest way to do it to make sure that the pattern lined up all the way across the front of the card. So I lined up the right edge at the three quarters of an inch mark and I cut a little strip. 
Then to make sure that my pattern lined up, I turned the cardstock so the heart pattern was upside down and I lined up the left piece of the cardstock at two inches and cut another strip. Then I turned the cardstock back so the hearts were right side up and I cut another strip at three quarters of an inch. I'll make sure to have all of these measurements listed in the description box below for you along with all of the products that I used. After I had my strips cut down, I put them back in my paper trimmer and I cut them down so that they would be four and a quarter inches tall. Off camera, I did cut some tan cardstock that was just slightly larger than the patterned paper so that there would be just a small little border of that craft colored cardstock around the patterned paper. I just used my tape runner to adhere the patterned paper to the tan cardstock and then it was time to finish up putting the card together. I used my tape runner to adhere the patterned paper to the card base and I did find that it was easier to do it with the card base opened flat. When putting the patterned paper on the outer edges you want to make sure that you line up the bottom at the two inch score mark. And then for the center piece, you want to make sure that that piece is lined up at the one inch score mark. Once that's adhered, this is what that looks like. And then I decided to add another strip of the tan cardstock down at the very bottom, just so it would be a little bit more cohesive once I adhered my sentiment to the bottom there. Off camera, I cut out my little s'more images and I put a whole bunch of foam tape on the back side of those and placed them on the front of the card, but I didn't press them down just in case I wanted to shift them a little bit. For the sentiment, I used the Alpha Mini stamp set and stamped the words, love you, and used the Simple Sentiment Strips die set to cut that out, and then I mounted that onto a piece of dark brown cardstock so there would be a little bit of a border, and of course I put foam tape on the back of that little sentiment strip as well. I die cut the word s'more four times from dark brown cardstock and just stacked them up just to give them a little bit of stability. And I used liquid glue to adhere that to the front of the card. One tip is when you're adhering the S and the E, you don't want to put adhesive all the way at the top of the letters, otherwise it's gonna catch on those sidebars and your card won't open properly. After I adhered the word s'more, I shifted the little s'more images and the love you sentiment strip just a little bit, and then I pressed everything into place, and that's it. That finishes up my card for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed, we'd love it if you would, and don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified every time a new video is posted. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.